I'm Lester Smolsky. I'm a life coach and personal development trainer and hypnotherapist. And I'm interviewing Louise Banks today. We met on my life coaching and personal development course. You decided to come and see me up for a hypnotherapy session to clear some stresses of the past and also to see if we could help with some of the muscle spasms and stuff that you're having due to epilepsy. But, you know, obviously I'm interested in anything that was going on before you had that experience. And I think that was started in your teens, is that right? Yes. So we did some stuff to clear some stress that had happened around your teens. When you think back about those things, obviously you don't need to talk about those. Are you, are you calmer about them now? Yes, generally so, accepting. Good. Can you tell us a wee bit about what my clinic jerks are and, and a wee bit about epilepsy? And... Yeah, sure. Basically, it's um, down to extra activity in the brain and electricity right. in the brain and it can cause grand mal seizures which can reduce your consciousness and also there's the petty mal which is more like the form I have where um, I remain conscious all the time but just have these sensations like a, the jerkings, like a twitch, develop hyperventilating and general panic physically, your muscles just, you've got no control with them and the your hands can flick about uh, like you would do if there was a fly in your neck, these kind of random movements. Occasionally there would also be a sensation, as everyone does know how travelling in a car feels and you're going along quite steadily and then all of a sudden you hit a bridge on a country road or something and you just get that sudden boom over it and and it's just like that and it's very fast though it's right. just very very quick and sometimes if I've been in bed I can be lying on my back and one will kick in completely out of the blue and I would feel like I was going to roll onto my side and fall out of bed and occasionally as well I could be sitting with a cup of coffee or, or something in my hand and there would just be a, con a sudden loss of connection between the brain and body function and whatever I was holding just fell before I knew that it that it happened. Occasionally I used to I used to get warning about it, but it would sometimes be completely random and it would happen even I, I would be asleep and I could waken up in the middle of it. So it it can take on many, many shapes and, right. and forms. Right. You know, people it's like one of these conditions that affects people all in, in different in different ways really. I think when you you did this session, I think you felt that the myclonic jerks had stopped? Yes, just very stabilised first first of all and then it took me a while to actually realise that I wasn't having them at all in the in the daytime right, and right. Um, my medication hadn't been altered and it was just, a, it was almost like a, I had completely forgot that I'd actually had them and uh, um, uh, for for a for a spell, so it was it was good to know that they I wasn't even um, conscious of it because uh, occasionally what used to happen would be that I would be thinking, oh my my sub my unconscious would sometimes pick away with me and say that oh I can get away with it here and it would uh, t it would kick in even just as I say sitting at home and uh, but that I found that that's not right. not happening anymore right. so it's been it's almost it feels like a sort of it's been um, disciplined. I mean epilepsy is one of these things that one of the reasons it's really interesting to chat with you about it is I have sometimes seen people say oh you know don't do you use hypnotherapy for epilepsy any condition that or behavior body's trying to do something positive for you or it's trying to work around something or make you safe in some way and if you'd had stresses from the past and things and if we got a new perception on them then it maybe has less of a need to to react in the way it used to do um, because you know because you're safer again um, so it also tries to find new alternative ways to be you also mentioned you had some issues with sleeping and I think I did an MP3 for you to try and help with that because you still were having 
a little bit of something going on at night. What was what's, what was the deal with that? It got to the point where I was just I would just be in bed, and it was just at the point where, as we all get to, where you're just about to go to sleep, and something like the phone rings or your phone bleeps with a text message, or you hear something, and you're just suddenly brought out back out of sleep, and it would be. Um, a sort of panic attack um, is the best way to describe it, yeah. where I I just had to get out of bed. I just felt like a kind of claustrophobia, but it was it was worse. It felt worse than that, in that I had to get out of bed and the me- the constant re- repeating message in my mind. It was the question: I don't know what to do. What should I do? What do I, what should I do? What do I need to do? And I was just getting up and just completely disorientated um, is, a, is a good way to describe it as well. But it would get to the point where I could become very angry with it as well because it was something that was getting the better of me and that I could not control. And therefore it became very stressful and um, I couldn't, it was just something I just couldn't no didn't know how to how to deal with really so how is it now is it still doing that or? no um that's uh, that's now completely stopped with a, an additional medication as well which i've been on now for nearly two months Fantastic. and i'm sleeping soundly now as i used to do years and years ago so i'm feeling far far better and my general uh, well-being is i'm feeling a lot more motivated right good and you, when you did those tests, you did those the sleep centre tests, and you went, they took you off your medication for forty eight hours, I think you said, and that was interesting because obviously we'd done hypnotherapy work to kind of clear, you know, obviously you'd obviously have to speak to your doctors and everything about things, but it was to try and help clear your dependence on that in a way, um, and. Uh, when you came off the medication, you didn't even notice that much difference, did you? No, it was yeah. 39 hours before I actually felt anything. Right. And the way I would have described that, uh, when I reached that point, it was like uh, a, a dripping tap uh-huh. is the best way. There, there was just a constant little tick, 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 tick going on. That was as much as it came to, really. Visually, there was... A little bit of disturbance, but nothing, nothing too um, major. Right, right. So it was very, very minimal. So understand, because you're now showing, you know, no symptoms, it might be possible for you to apply for a driver's license. Um, it's just the sheer um, disbelief, really, that something that I thought was completely out of out of reach for me. And having been craving it for 26 years, it's uh, it's quite a revelation to me, really. Um, and even now, um, it's nearly two months since I put in my application, I'm still finding it very hard to believe. And um, I was actually quite emotional about it, um, really um, having really uncontrollable bursts of tears of happiness which is is quite an unusual thing to have good, good quality problem <laughs> but yes very positive on the other on one on the other hand so um it's just a case of now uh, waiting um i do believe that the uh, dvle have contacted my neurologist they've actually written to me and informed me of this and the other thing that they also ask you to do, um, which is still to come, but they may not need, I may not need it, they do ask you as well for assess to go for an assessment right, and a, okay. a fitness to drive test. So again, what that entails exactly, I don't know. Right. So I'm still all very. In good, all in good time. It's all in good time, exactly. So the so with the myclonic jerk stopping for over a year, that's obviously the most important part of that is yes. being able to drive so thank you to Louise Banks and uh, for talking to us about epilepsy so this is uh, Lester of the Transformation Station so signing out so please check out other videos and the website transformation-station.com thank you very much guys bye <laughs>